Hello. A very important resource for your CAT preparation is the study material that you use. Unfortunately, a lot of aspirants make a wrong choice and pay a very heavy price, not in monetary terms, but in terms of the lost opportunity to do well in CAT. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different options that you have for study material and how do they stack against each other. I'll classify the different options of study material into four groups. One group is the old national players, career launcher, IMS time. I'm talking about only their study material and not their live classes. Their study material is a combination of uh, printed and online content. Second group is books by publishers. The first book specific to CAT was uh, Arun Sharma, McGraw Hill Publications, being the first and far more affordable than the uh, earlier group. It became a runaway hit. A very distant second and third uh, books here are uh, Nishit Sinha, Pearson's, and uh, Sarvesh Verma's Quantum Cat by Arihan Publishers. The third group is classes like ours, relatively younger to the first group. Uh, they are more popular because of the faculty's reputation. Thanks to the advancement in technology, these individual faculties can now reach out to a lot of people through their videos and online classes. And hence in recent years, they have become very popular. There are far too many, so I'm not taking any names. I'm obviously going to miss out some of them. Uh, these uh, are uh, mostly online offerings. Some of them have a center in one city or a couple of cities. Some of them are regionally known, locally known, and some of them uh, have students from across the countries. A fourth group uh, is that of free resources. For marketing purposes, a lot of people put out their content on YouTube channels and students join lot many YouTube channels and watch videos and try to learn from that. They join a lot of groups on Telegram, Facebook, WhatsApp, where questions are posted and they try out those questions or ask their doubts over that. Then there is also, you know, in Telegram, there are many people who sell pirated study material content of XYZ classes available only for 499 rupees. So there are students who subscribe to such content as well. Uh, how do we judge a steady material is what I'll take up next. The details of how you judge a steady material might bore someone. So you could move directly to the verdict. It is time stamped in the description below. And those who need the details, here they are. The bare minimum that any good study material should have is teaching of concepts, question bank for practice, and test series. Uh, there could be more units also, for example, something on revision or topic-based tests, but the first three are the bare minimum. About teaching of concepts, a OK OK study material is something that just states every idea, concept, formula as a matter of fact. A better study material is something that goes behind the scene, tells how the formula was arrived at, why does it work, so that students don't rely on memory, but rather on the understanding of ideas. And a great study material is something that goes beyond understanding of things and also tells how a question setter might add variations to it. So after every sub 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 topic, there is a bunch of questions, each having a little twist of its own. Now, all this could be given in a very drab uh, academic textbook style, which is what printed material was, uh, or could also be presented in a very engrossing manner, uh, which is possible now with, uh, vi uh, with concept videos. And here the faculty's role also come in. How interesting can you make the concepts? Uh, uh, you know, are you motivated uh, to keep watching videos one after the other? Or does it put you to sleep? Practice questions are judged on three uh, parameters. One, the quantum, the number, the, that should be adequate number. Uh, but this does not mean more the number, the better it is. If one does not learn problem solving skills by practicing 200, 300 questions, then it's unlikely that one will learn even after solving 500 questions. Uh, when you solve more number of questions, you are mostly 
relying on the fact that some known question will come in the exam, but it's never so. Irrespective of the number of questions that you practice, however many, the question in CAT exam will be new. So you would need to chart your own way and that can be learned very well by doing 200 to 300 questions per topic. Uh, the second parameter in questions is the difficulty level. If all the questions are of the basic standard variety, there's no fun in it. Uh, and if the questions are unnaturally difficult, then again, it, it doesn't serve its purpose. Uh, they are, get difficult by asking about some concept that is not taught. So if it's not taught, you would not know. Or else the question is made really bizarre. Uh, you know, two people going on a circular track on the event meeting or, or on the orth meeting, first one will change speed, second one will change direction on the event meaning, first one will change direction, second one will change speed, in between one of them will run along the diameter. So, so just putting any, uh, you know, many uh, storyline, making it almost like a passage. This is not how difficult questions come in CAT. They're based upon simple concepts a little camouflage and that requires just that one small bit to crack it extra right and the third part of uh, practice questions is the explanations uh, now that all concepts is learned for you to understand in depth is only through these problem solvings and how do you build the skill that can be explained very well if the explanation to these questions are very very uh, detailed the test series should give you a real feel of taking the cat. So it has to be online. It should make you sweat. It should make you feel like you're in a pressure cooker situation. It should make you realize how fast time flies during a test. At the same time, there should be enough doable questions there such that a well-prepared student can solve 60, 65, 70% of the questions. The distribution of questions across topics should reflect that of the actual cat. Uh, the test paper can be made uh, difficult by just putting in questions from very, uh, you know, niche areas like binomial, base uh, systems or permutation combinations. It's very fertile ground for a lot of tough questions, but then the actual cat does not have questions on these topics, right? So it should not be such lopsided or unnaturally difficult. It should give you a measure of how you perform vis-a-vis -vis the competition that is a ranking across national level and another important part is the analysis of the marks it should be detailed uh, it should give you insights on how you could have attempted the test paper in a better manner so how do the different study material options measure up on these parameters let me start with the fourth group that of free resources Students, I don't think it's wise to save money uh, in study material. You are aspiring for a course which costs 15 to 25 lakh rupees. Even 1% of 20 lakh is 20,000. Not spending 1% of the total cost in preparing for one of the toughest exam, I don't think there's any maturity in such thoughts. Uh, that free comes with a cost you know you join numerous youtube channels and there is a lot of distraction over there there is no commonality there's no thread you watch one video or on on let's say what just five percent ten percent of the topic putting all the resources uh, together i don't think so you're going to learn anything more than 30 40 percent of what has to be learned and that too from varied sources everyone has a different style uh, different way of solving so i don't think there's any merit in uh, you know relying only on free resources the more time i spend on this it's just a waste of time here the questions that you get in the group are just selected questions where people have doubt uh, again, uh, you might not have studied that topic at all and that is what I see. People asking me questions which are very level one of a topic. Now, why are you asking me this? Have you not studied this topic? But then there was no video on that thing. Right? Remember, videos are just put for marketing purposes. They don't come cover the whole course. Right? So anyway, so let me just stop about this group. The next group of study material that I'll talk is publisher's book and Arun Sharma being a very popular book in this group, 
also takes the largest share of criticism. In terms of teaching, uh, most of the ideas, concepts are just given as a matter of fact. An attempt is made to explain things, the understanding bit of it, but that is limited to very, very, very few concepts. Application of actors is missing, removal, replacement, there's just one question, variations of the you know, types are not discussed, circular track, a very difficult concept is covered in just half a column, modulus, the formula graph is given, but types of questions are not discussed, the logical interpretations of it is not discussed. All these question types come in the exercise, but they're not taught. And also in the exercise, what happens is the initial few questions are a little tough and they have linkages with other topics. So if you are not good at maths, then going through the exercise becomes a big headache. You know, there's, the, 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 you, you are not familiar with those questions that come. They take you by surprise. There's not enough things taught. Uh, other topic comes and, and hence, Every other question seems a challenge and one feels uh, very inadequate. Further in the exercise, there could be a group of questions which are all very similar and very easy. The LOD3 is uh, unnaturally tough because of these bizarre things thrown in as I was explaining earlier. Uh, the test series is pretty non-existent. So why I am being very critical here of the book is an aspirant who is not uh, new to this ecosystem, is not very aware of cat prep, his first choice is Arun Sharma. And he picks up Arun Sharma and, and uh, it, it seems a very tough task for him, what he is facing. Uh, you know, I don't think so he would be doing even 10, 20, 30, 40 percent of the preparation of what he could be capable of because of you know the lack of teaching bit and the toughness of those exercises the explanations are nothing great to talk about uh, so is there some value in the book yes there is but it is for someone who has already prepared who knows all his stuff you know and you need a cheap question bank a question bank that stress tests your preparation go to Arun Sharma you know, as, as earlier I was discussing the problems that a beginner faces in the exercises, those very problems actually stress test your preparation. The LOD3 throws up random things at you and let's see how you will handle it, right? So, uh, I've been very critical of the book, so I, I request my readers, listeners, uh, you know, to put in into the comments how the book has helped you. People will learn from your experiences and make the most of the book. The other two books in this group also have similar flaws. Nishit Sinha has almost the same flaws as Arun Sharma. Sarvesh Verma, the teaching bit is absent even there, but the exercises are made up of more standard level of questions. So for a beginner, maybe Sarvesh Verma's Quantum Cat could be a better choice if you have to purchase a publisher's book. Third group, classes like us, which are run by popular individual faculty or groups of faculties. Uh, there are far too many of them, so I'm not going to take any names because I'll not be doing justice to everyone. Uh, and the offerings here are very varied across different people. So at one end, there are these classes which pretty much have no study material. For them, the study material is just a live class and a recording of the live class followed with an exercise sheet. So uh, the teaching as in the concept book, learning through concept videos is not present. Uh, it is only done in a live class. The exercises uh, lack the uh, explanation bits quite a lot. So these explanations are again done through doubt solving sessions or so on, but there's not a detailed explanation to them. Then there are some which have a good, uh, have made an attempt, have made their own study material. Some of them are very good. Some of them are wannabes, copy pasted from everywhere. So you would have to exercise a lot of 
caution you'll have to evaluate each one individually in this group and only then uh, decide whether the steady material of theirs are good or not uh, uh, again i'll not talk a lot about this because i also belong to this segment so i'll have an inherent bias like our steady material is really really good but no point in me saying that so what i'll do is our printed material uh, which we used to use before we migrated everything to concept videos we are giving those printed material free as pdfs so i'll give a link of them you download it and you check for yourself how that study material is so finally the remaining group of study material options the old national players career launcher ims time in terms of those three basic units, teaching of concepts, uh, question bank for practice, and uh, test series, uh, they tick all the boxes. In fact, test series is popular only of these three players and of none of the other groups. Uh, uh, they do a fairly good job in all of them. There are a little uh, pluses and minuses in terms of quantum of questions. Time uh, has the largest one, but then the teaching content of time is very matter of fact, putting across just formulas, they don't discuss, they don't give insights. Uh, Career Launcher IMS make some attempt at the understanding bit in their videos. Uh, uh, but then the videos in for all the three players are made by different faculties uh, so some of them are interesting some of them are not so very interesting uh, there is a very difference of opinion in the test series also some students l think a test series of a player is irrelevant whereas there are others who think the test series of that very player is the best so you know i'm not playing any favoritism here uh, you could just go by your gut feel amongst the three of them or by price option whichever is cheapest all three are uh, one of the safest bets students so even students who subscribe or join classes like ours do end up uh, you know in groups and so on seeking material from one of the material of one of these national players so if you have heard me throughout you'll realize that there isn't a lot of options for the study material i've ruled out free resources i've completely ruled out books from publishers in in classes like ours there are just one or two players who have a good option of study material the others can be joined more for you know inputs of the faculty rather than the study material so it boils down to just these three national players and one or two in a classes like ours which have a comprehensive study material so since there's very limited choice i don't and uh, you know uh, being a very competitive field there's nothing like this that this one is the best and that one is worst but stick to these rather than the free resources or books from the publishers